Is it I or Y? Y. Y And yeast. Yeah. So say it again. Symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. We are going to do homebrewed kombucha testing here at the Santa Barbara Rose Garden. Brandon has tried some of my kombucha. Shandy has not, and she's not a big fan of kombucha. But I don't have a lot of experience. So maybe this will be the day that we change her mind. We're gonna start with the fig and lavender kombucha. Fig and lavender is actually one of my favorite flavors that I make, but I think I might have let this one go a little long, so it might be more tart than I'd prefer. All right, here we go. <laughs> smells vinegary. <laughs> Hence the maybe letting it go too far. I get the lavender though. Oh, that's nice. I don't, I taste more lavender than fig. I don't love lavender in food or drinks, Okay. but I actually like this. I think with the, the vinegar, uh, the, something about it with the vinegar and the lavender is, is good. Let me swirl it a little bit first. <laughs> it is quite a vinegary smell. Mmm, you know, this is good. This reminds me of a, of a special dream I had, actually. <laughs> My ninja dream. I was successful in the mission, by the way. Captured that guy. Yeah, it's good. I like it. So the second kombucha that we are going to try this afternoon is the rose and raspberry. This one, I put the flavor straight into the bottle so you can see some red raspberries that look a little bit like shrimps, but it's just because the color has been leached out and then the roses as well. So we're going to filter these out with this straight into our glasses. We've got some good carbonation going on here. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't had one quite that carbonated in a while, so this could take a second to open. Oh yeah. And I can oh, smell yeah. the raspberry. A little bit of the rose, maybe? Do you smell the rose? I definitely smell the rose. Oh. I like that. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. The raspberry is definitely there. I think the rose is more there in the scent. I don't know that I taste it so much. Do you Same. taste it? Same. I like this one. Yeah? Yeah, I think I like that. I feel like the first one kind of stings a little. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't really sting like that. This is a high quality carbonation too. Nice work. So we are on to our third and final kombucha for today's little taste test. This is actually the kombucha I made in the whiskey barrel and it is my first time sharing this with friends. Uh, so we'll see what they think. Last one, here we go. What are we toasting to? This is a toast to Katie's booming booch business. <laughs> Cheers. It's actually really smooth. It is quite smooth. It does give me the... Like, I feel like I can tell the, the difference due to the barrel. I feel like the barrel that makes a noticeable difference. It's not as carbonated as the other ones, but there's also not as much of that vinegary punch at the end. So it's, it's really nice. It's like earthy and kind of woodsy. I'm usually not a fan of things put into whiskey barrels, like whatever it is. So it's really nice. Maybe I just need to drink more kombucha out of whiskey Maybe barrels. you do. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know that you'll be able to find it anywhere. What do you think of the smell? The first thing that came to mind, one of those canisters of a uh, Quaker oatmeal. Huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it smells like uncooked Quaker oatmeal. I'm not getting that, but, <laughs> but I appreciate the assessment. So what did you just say that you didn't want to say the first time around? Well, I didn't know if I could say it. The, the smell is a little marijuana-y. Because the earthiness, I think, maybe like more like a fresh marijuana. <laughs> fresh leaves. Fresh leaves. Fresh buds. We are home now from our awesome little rose garden kombucha tasting and I showed Brandon and Shandy my kombucha brewing operation right over here. They were asking about scobies where I was like, hey, you wanna try a scoby? So we're gonna have them uh, take a bite out of a scoby. You want the top one? It's just kombucha, but it's really tart kombucha. I can pull the top one off, it's the freshest one. It's just gonna be this chunk here because they're so stuck together. So look, that's not too bad. I'm gonna bite it. I'm okay. gonna bite it, but I won't like it. What's it feel like? It's slimy. It's kind of firm, but it's it's a slimy firm. Like it's not like I don't get the sense it'll be chewy per se. Like I feel like it's gonna break apart as I bite it. It tastes like something I'm not supposed to be eating but it's not terrible. 
Is the is it the texture of something you're not supposed to be eating, or does it taste mm -hmm. like something you're not supposed to be eating? Both, both and. Mm -hmm. It smells it smells like kombucha only yeastier. Is that a thing? <laughs> it could be a thing, yeah. So I was watching you and I thought, why doesn't he just do it? And, and now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I went with the molar bite. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I feel sad. Yeah, I'll just, uh... It's... Not good. It's the texture? Like, gum? Like, if you took Jello and chewed it, but Jello didn't break apart. Yeah. Like that. So, it, ta it tastes like kombucha, in terms of taste, it just, it, the texture. That was a lot. That, yeah. that was a lot of texture. Don't do it. In conclusion, I give it a, I give it a f five out of ten because I feel like the flavor is just, it's just kombucha, but texture texture is like a zero out of ten, so average is a five out of ten. Would not do again. I'm gonna say it's like three point six. Won't do it again. This reminds me of a of a special dream I had actually. So I was I was a ninja, and I was like sent on this mission to capture this person and the I was like running down these hills and the hills were all like kind of orangish yellow maybe that's why it reminds me of the dream but and I stopped by this little town and these people like helped refresh me a little bit and I remember it was like it was so good it was like in my dream memory it was sweeter than this but it was the first thing that popped into my head my ninja dream I was successful in the mission by the way Capture that guy. I love it. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm.